Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Creating and deploying an Azure function using Visual Studio Code, VS Code, with Python involves several steps. Below is a detailed tutorial that will guide you through the entire process, from setup to deployment. Prerequisites 1. Azure Account You need to have an Azure account. If you don't have one, you can create a free account here, https colon slash slash azure.microsoft.com slash free. 2. Visual Studio Code Install VS Code https colon slash slash code dot visuals 2 dio dot com 3 azure functions extension for vs code install the azure functions extension in vs code to do this open vs code go to the extensions view by clicking on the extensions icon in the activity bar on the side of the window or by pressing ctrl plus shift plus x Search for Azure Functions and install it. For Python, ensure you have Python installed, preferably Python 3.6, 3.7, or 3.8. You can download it from python.org, https colon slash slash www.python.org slash downloads. 5. Azure CLI, install the Azure CLI to manage Azure resources. You can download it from here, https colon slash slash docs.microsoft.com slash n hyphen a slash cli slash azure slash install hyphen azure hyphen cli. 6. Functions Core Tools, Install Azure Functions Core Tools. You can install it via npm, node.js, or through other methods described in the official documentation, https colon slash slash docs dot microsoft dot com slash n hyphen a slash azure slash azure hyphen functions slash functions hyphen run hyphen local step one create a new azure function project one open a new folder in vs code where you want to create your azure functions project two open the command palette with control plus shift plus p and type azure functions create new project Select it. 3. Choose a language, select Python. 4. Select the Python interpreter, choose the appropriate Python interpreter if prompted. 5. Select a template for the function, you can choose HTTP trigger, which is a common scenario. 6. Provide a function name, name your function, for example, my HTTP trigger. 7. Select authorization level. Choose function for a more secure function or anonymous for no restrictions. Step 2. Write your function code. After creating the function, you will see a new folder structure created. Open the underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot pi file inside the function folder, my HTTP trigger. Here's an example of a simple HTTP triggered Azure function. Step 3. Local testing. Before deploying, it's a good idea to test your function locally. 1. Open the terminal in VS Code, Control Plus. 2. Run the function locally using the command. 3. You will see a URL for your function in the terminal, usually http slash slash localhost 7071 slash api slash my http trigger. You can test it using a tool like Postman or your browser by appending name equals your name to the URL. Step 4, deploying your Azure function to Azure. 1. Log into Azure, open the command palette, Control plus Shift plus P, and type Azure, sign in. Follow the prompts to log in. 2. Create a new function app in Azure. In the Azure panel on the left, right click on the function apps and select create function app in Azure. Fill in the required details like subscription, resource group, function app name, runtime, Python, and region. 3. Deploy your function. After the function app is created, right-click on the function folder, the one with your function code, 
and select Deploy to Function App. Choose the Function App you created earlier. Confirm the deployment when prompted. Step 5, Testing the Deployed Function. After deployment, you will receive a URL for your deployed function. You can test it similarly by appending, name equals your name to the URL. Step 6, Monitor and Manage your function. You can monitor your function's performance and logs through the Azure portal. 1. Go to the Azure portal. 2. Navigate to your function app. 3. Check the Monitor tab for logs and metrics. Conclusion You have successfully created and deployed an Azure function using VS Code with Python. From here, you can explore additional features such as binding, triggers, and using Azure services to enhance your function. For further learning, refer to the Azure Functions documentation, https colon slash slash docs.microsoft.com slash n hyphen a slash azure slash azure hyphen functions.